Hi, it's uh, and welcome or welcome back to my channel for another video. You fill my head with roses. I can't help but dream away. Standing on a field with you and flowers everywhere. Is going to be a little vlog. It is going to be part two of me having surgery. If you haven't seen my last vlog, uh, I would highly suggest to go watch that one. It would explain why I look like this. Uh, but basically, the short recap is that three days ago, I had no surgery to correct my deviated nasal spectrum, remove my adenoids, and cauterize uh, some of my nasal cavities to have more space for air. And it has not been fun. Uh, the recovery has not been very good so far to me. I've been pretty miserable. I have spent all my time in bed uh, my dad and Reeves told me uh, the mini TV that we have so that I can have Netflix to watch because that's the only thing that I'm doing right now and watching cartoons for comfort because I have been in so much pain but honestly it's not like the surgery wasn't painful at all uh, I feel like it's more my other health issues that made everything awful. I have chronic migraines, I have jaw issues with my muscles being too tight, so because I have the nose that I can't breathe out of, I have to keep my mouth open at all times, which makes my jaw problems worse. I also have a lot of GI issues and the anesthesia made it worse, so it's not been fun. I've basically been on a like liquid diet everything I, ever since I came home. Liquid and ice cream because I can't chew because I have so much pain in my teeth. But it has nothing to do with the surgery. Anyways. The reason I am doing this video is not to rant about how miserable I am because it will be over soon. Like, I've been getting better every day. I'm just a little sick of it. But tomorrow morning, I am actually getting rid of all of this. So I'm pretty excited. But I wanted to start the video today. It is the 18th of... June today and uh, tomorrow I'm getting the uh cap it's not a cast it's like the thing on my nose and also like this and the things that are in my nose to keep it in place so I'm finally gonna be free and hopefully it's gonna make everything better because I will be able to breathe again. So I wanted to take you along for that. Sorry for the long intro. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the plan. Uh, I'm also pretty much sure that I won't sleep tonight. I haven't slept uh, since the night between uh, Wednesday and Thursday. The night before the surgery, I barely slept. I was so anxious. And ever since I came back home, I slept a total of three hours in like deep sleep, but nothing else. Uh, so, it's going to be fun. And I'm going to take you along for the journey, so let's do this. It is, uh, what time is it? It is 8.40 at night, and I'm starting this vlog now. <laughs> I met an old man I said, tell me your story He took out a 
Out the window, I'm breathing in the last of September. I can feel the wind blow, and the late summer sky is like a giant ember. been home for a little while now it really did take long at the doctors and so this is what my nose looks like right now I just have the band-aid and I don't have anything on it or inside of it anymore uh, so I just went in uh, I was in pretty much immediately the good thing about going really early on in the morning is that there is no wait time. So, I was seen really fast. Uh, basically, my surgeon, I don't know, he doesn't have time. And I don't think he really likes people that much because he asked me how I'm feeling. I just had time to say that I hadn't slept, but he didn't ask if I had been in pain, if I had any symptoms, nothing. So it's always very frustrating to see him because I always feel like I can't talk with him. He doesn't care about anything at all, but he does his job very well, so it's kind of like a 50-50 thing. Uh, but basically, uh, he pulled the things that were in my nose to stop me from breathing after the surgery to keep everything in place. And I asked, like, is it gonna hurt? And he was like, oh no, it's not gonna hurt. I screamed because it was so painful to get that thing out of my nose. I literally... Uh, sorry, my mom, um, cold, but basically I screamed because it was so painful. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be painful or not, because I feel like the painkillers hasn't been working, but it was awful, like, so bad. And I'm wearing a mask because now I'm in horrible pain and I can breathe by my nose so pull it again in my nose again and because of how painful it is I cannot sneeze I can't even like blow my nose so I just put on a mask to protect myself from pulling because it's horrible also I don't know if it's normal or not, but ever since everything came out, I've been choking all the time trying to breathe. It's very scary. So far, it hasn't been a good experience. 
and I'm really frustrated. Uh, but that's okay. I'm trying to stay calm. Uh, but I'm finally going to be able to have like a proper meal today because I can swallow finally after because what was in my nose made me very hard made it very hard to swallow anything so I could basically only have liquids so it's fun that's the update for now uh I'm probably gonna stay in bed all day because I'm so tired and it's horrible. But yeah, that's fun. Lost again, going back around. Dreaming of a time when I get things right. Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they enlighten my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? Send a prayer if I'm out of luck Send a little love and I'll make it back Send me a letter and... Hi! It is now the next day I feel a lot better. I'm a lot more in a good mood compared to what I was yesterday. I was pretty pissed and sorry for the ranting and negativity yesterday. I really was not in a good headspace. Also, I realized I never said anything, but these are my second pair of glasses for anyone who's been there for a while and has never seen them. Um, my other ones just are not comfortable to wear right now. So if this is your first time seeing them, no, I didn't change glasses. I just have another pair. Uh, but I have finally slept, which is so good. I feel so much better. It's also like a really hot day today, so it's not making it very easy on me. But it's just what summer is and basically I'm still in bed because I'm still like very tired and not feeling too good but uh, this morning I could inhale a little bit from my nose which is a good sign the congestion is getting better so that's getting me pretty hopeful and other than that, I've just been getting back to my normal life, kind of. I got my laptop on my bed to do some work because I don't have the energy to sit at my desk. But I also want to get out a video because I have pretty much disappeared from social media for a week. So I need to get back into it. But... That's basically the update for now and I'm gonna try today to kind of like go back to my normal life and slowly build back to a normal routine over the rest of the week. Oops, sorry for that. But that's what's going on right now. Snowflakes are coming down, collapse into water when they hit. Hi, I have some updates. It's a little bit later. I have changed because I had a shower. So, they, the nurse who came tonight to help me shower came two hours early. So, it was a little bit too early to be put back, uh, well, to put on my pajama afterwards, so that's why I've changed, but it is still the same day. I have edited the video that I wanted to, which is 
really good. I still, I just had minor things to do. Most of it was done before my surgery, which I'm so thankful that I did. But, basically, I have some really cool news to share, and I really wanted to share them. Uh, because it's gonna be really exciting. Uh, but the news is that I officially got the confirmation that I am going to be going to a physical rehab center in July. I'm so excited. I'm going to be leaving on the 6th of July if everything goes according to plan. We've been having so many issues with me getting there. We started the process back in February and only in May the insurance allowed uh, like me to go because we had issues with them refusing and it was a whole thing and unfortunately the warranty like the guarantee that they were going to pay issued in June uh, on the 14th and I couldn't go before that day since I was waiting on the surgery because those types of things you're away for like three weeks and I did not have three weeks before my surgery so and I'm just really glad that we finally got this done and I'm finally going to be able to go uh they said yes unfortunately they did something really petty and only allowed two weeks instead of the three weeks they agreed to they literally just right before that so it's really annoying but I'm gonna deal with that later uh, when it comes time to it but I just wanted to share that since it's been something I've been talking about on my channel for a very long time now and I'm just gonna continue the rest of my night I will probably read a little bit and just relax because I'm actually pretty tired so I will see you tomorrow Do you recall when we were young running from our things at once Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Ooh, This road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time Time has gone and I grew up I somehow made it through without Inside. Mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out From the dark mm -hmm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. And this road that I am on I gotta stay here
to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand oh, Hey, darling it's me and you On the road with a couple of tunes And a car for two Hey, darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night When the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Hi, it is now pretty much at the end of the day. I think it's, yeah, it's 9 p.m. already. And I wanted to give a little update on my surgery recovery because today has not been a very good day. Uh, basically, it's all started back to having um, throat pain again. Like the budget, um, adenoids removal pain, and then like my ear pain that I had the first couple days came back. My voice is again a lot weaker. Um, I'm just more congested, and I've just been having horrible neck pain. And the surgeon told me that if I had any issues with um, the outer noise removal it could um, like in the recovery process if I had any issues it could lead to having neck issues so I don't know what's going on I'm also like right at the edge of having fever which is not good because I'm on antibiotics and painkillers which also do anti-inflammatory so I should not be able to get any temperature right now but I still like am close to having fever which is really not good so I will give an update tomorrow because the office was closed today so we couldn't call my surgeon to see what's going on so we're doing that first thing tomorrow morning and hopefully it's nothing um but it's definitely a little scary so i will keep you guys updated hi it is a couple days later um it took a while for my doctor's office to call back and give us some news but in the end, they called it back and my surgeon said that it was, I didn't say it was normal, but he said it was alright. So I guess it's nothing serious. So that's a good news. Um, I've still been close to having fever every day and I've just been like, all over the place health wise but hopefully it's gonna stabilize pretty soon I'm going back um, on Monday to see um, my surgeon for the second post-op visit and then like I'm gonna have more answers but I'm not gonna vlog all of that I will just put a note in here if there's anything that needs to be said but I'm pretty sure it's just going to be, I'm going to go in, he's going to say everything is good, and he's going to send me on my merry way, knowing him. So, that is basically all for this surgery recovery process. I know this has been a kind of weird vlog and not really what I normally do, 
but hopefully you still enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe for more. Turn on the post and notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload next. Also, follow me on all of my other socials. They will be in the description box down below so you can keep up and stay up to date with everything on there. I try to be more up to date and... I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!